Hey what's up guys welcome back to another video and again I am back with a new video on MIUI 9 because MIUI 9 we have with a few fixes which were uh, not available in the previous version so this is MIUI Roam Beta Global Edition and it is it comes pre-installed with Google Play Store so you don't have to download Google Play Store or use any other method to uh, install Google Play services so this Roam is uh, pretty stable as of now i'm using on my oneplus 3 i'll also show you how can you install this and what are the few bugs which i found on this device as of now what are the things which are not available according to the previous room which was not at all stable which had uh, issues related to camera and media i have already installed it so first let's go to settings and check about device so we go here about and you can see android version it's 7.0 with the security patch of first 7 that is first august 2017 MIUI version is uh, 9 global version 7.8.31 that is beta version so these are the things in about phone and you must have noticed in the previous version you had an option over here in which you had all the settings available on the top which is not available so let's talk about the issues what i faced in this so geo vault is not working if you guys are using any kind of geo sim card then you have to install an application that is geo 4g to make voice calls but internet is working so this has to be fixed in the uh, next version after that you have the smart screen option is not available in this now so if you swipe towards your left the smart screen option does not appear here which was previously available in the room and also one more thing if you swipe up now you don't get an option of search that was a pretty cool option which i liked on miui 9 and that is also not available in this room so these three things which i have found are not working on this room and um, missing uh, or you can say missing on this room and things which are working i'll tell you that also before we had an issue with the camera and media issues so now you can see the camera is working and camera have only one issue that is the photos what we take in hdr mode are not clear so this is the photo which i have taken in hdr and now i turn off hdr and show you the images so this is taken without hdr and this is taken in hdr and one more photo which i have is which i took while using hdr so this is that photo uh, taken and you can see the photo is not at all clear so only one issue that is hdr is not working after that if you go to sounds you have a working sound available here without any issues let's see notification slider notification slider still doesn't work on this room so these were the issues and uh, fixes what they have done on this room so now let's take a quick look on this uh, room so if you tap or hold home screen uh, it says home screen is logged so you just pinch in and you get few options available here so under which you have wallpaper widgets widgets it has lots of widgets available in this after that you go to settings you have transition effects default screen setting autofill lock screen and more options available here under more options you can see fill empty cells lock home screen layout so if you enable this it will lock the home screen and you won't be able to move any application to the different screen and in this you have one more option that is you can shift all the icons together to the different screen whichever you want you can select all of them and hold them you can make them move to different screen in one go so you don't have to select each and every time you don't have to select different different applications after that split screen uh, is also available you can see uh, if you tap recents you get an option of split screen mode you just tap this again and you can move any of the applications over here and the applications which does not support split screen you'll get a message like this app does not support split screen mode you also have an option to quick switch so if you double tap the recent will quickly switch to the last used application so these are the things available in this room i don't want to make a complete review because i had already made uh, what are the features available in miui room so that link i'll mention in the description and i'll also mention the download link in the description so now let's take a look at the installation process so you don't have to do anything you just have to uh, have a twrp recovery installed on your device and i'll tell you uh, what are the things required in twrp recovery so make sure twrp recovery is installed if you don't have you can just let me know in the comment section below so first what we do is we reboot a device to twrp recovery so once your device boots to twrp recovery i'll show you the settings what i have now because a few of them 
told me in the MIUI 9 that uh, you require EXT4 yes that ROM had uh, issues with F2FS so we had to switch to um, EXT4 but in this I'll show you which which one I'm using so I go to data repair or change and you can see I'm using file system as F2FS so no issues with that you just have to normally go back and if you are on ext4 uh, try flashing it but if your device doesn't boot up you can switch to f2fs so i go to wipe advance and i clear everything including system also i leave internal memory because i require the room which i have placed inside the internal memory i swipe to wipe and after that i again go back go to install and i'll flash the miui 9 so this is an alpha 2 build you can confirm to flash so once the process is completed just hit reboot system and wait for the device to get reboot and you can see your device boots up uh, without any issues it will take somewhere around seven to eight minutes so do not worry about it and after that you proceed next you get an option to select uh, languages you can select uh, anything according to your country or your language what you speak so I select English India, I move forward and it asks me to connect network. So I skip this also as of now, I go forward, I skip uh, SIM card also. Next you get an option to install your Google account. So I click on no, you can install everything from here itself. You can use your Google ID, skip this step, next and after that you get an option to select the theme so if you want new look you can select limitless and select this move forward and just wait theme applied and setup is completed so you click next and you can see the home screen now miui 9 is available on your device who wants a taste of this and it can be used as a daily driver no issues about it few fixes uh, like geo volt and all these things need to be done so you may get in the next build and if i'm able to fix that issue of volt i'll do make a video for the complete change logs and fixes you can just check the description below so as of now that's all in this video guys uh, if you like the video do give me a thumbs up and if you're new to my channel do not forget to subscribe the channel thanks for watching have a great day